Welcome to Thursday Morning Prayer and the Amazing Photography of Mattia Passerini. This is the message we have heard from Christ, that God is light, in whom there is no darkness at all. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The opening canticle, a song of God's herald. Go up to a high mountain, herald of good tidings to Zion. Lift up your voice with strength, herald of good tidings to Jerusalem. Lift up your voice, fear not. Say to the cities of Judah, behold your God. See the Lord God coming with power, coming to rule with his mighty arm. He brings his reward for the people of God, the recompense for those who are saved. God will feed his flock like a shepherd and gather the lambs in his arms. He will hold them to his breast and gently lead those that are with young. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The Psalms this morning are Psalms 54 and 55, verses 1 to 12. Psalm 54 begins, Save me, O God, by the power of your name, and vindicate me by your might. Hear my prayer, O God, and listen to the words of my mouth. You may wish to pause the video here to complete the remainder of the Psalms. Almighty God, who wonderfully created us in your own image, and yet more wonderfully restored us in your Son, Jesus Christ, grant that, as he came to share our human nature, so we may be partakers in his divine glory, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The reading this morning is from Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 to chapter 8, verse 4. It begins, Jesus said, Everyone then who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall, because it had been founded on rock. You may wish to pause the video here to complete the remainder of the reading. May your word live in us, and bear much fruit to your glory. The Canticle, the Hymn of the Word In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. He was in the world, and the world was made through him yet the world knew him not. He came to his own home, and his own people received him not. But to all who received him, who believed on his name, he has given power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of a man, but of God. And the word became flesh, and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, and from his fullness have we all received, and grace upon grace. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, 
hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. A collect for the 17th Sunday after Pentecost. Loving Father, whose Son Jesus Christ has taught us that what we do for the least of our brothers and sisters, we do also for him. Give us the will to be the servant of others, as he was the servant of all, who gave up his life and died for us, and yet lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. You may wish to pause the video here to say intercessions, prayers and thanksgiving. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of peace equip us with everything good so that we may do his will and may he work in us that which is pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory for ever. Amen. <laughs>